Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and I'm back with you with another holiday story because I just can't get enough of these Christmas stories. So today I have for you, Pete the Cat Saves Christmas, written by Eric Litwin and art by James Dean, creator of Pete the Cat. And you guys, I love all of the Pete the Cat stories. I'm sure you do as well. They're just so much fun. He's one of our favorite characters. And this Christmas one is sure to please. So let's get started. Pete the Cat Saves Christmas. Twas the day before Christmas and Santa was ill. In the cold winter wind, he had caught a bad chill. Will Christmas be canceled? Will it come to that? Never, cried Santa. Let's call Pete the cat. Santa asked Pete to deliver the toys to all the good girls and to all the good boys. Looks like Pete is surfing. I'll do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. Pete jumped in his minibus and started to roll. Road trip, cried Pete. First stop, the North Pole. The reindeer were waiting to give Pete a tow, so he packed up the presents and told them to go. Then the minibus flew, just like in a movie. Pete the cat cried, this is totally groovy. I can do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. As the children were sleeping all snug in their beds, Pete and his reindeer appeared overhead. Straight down the chimney, Pete flew in a dash, then back in his minibus, quick as a flash. Each time he delivered a holiday gift, he crossed off a name written on Santa's list. Santa's list was so big and Pete felt so small, but at Christmas we give, so he gave it his all. Give it your all, give it your all. At Christmas we give, so give it your all. Wow, you guys, look at that list of names. Do you see your name on that list? At the very last minute, they reached the last house. Pete dashed in and out, just as quiet as a mouse. Then right at the break of the new Christmas day, Pete and his reindeer were flying away. Back at the North Pole, old Santa was waiting. The elves and the townsfolk were all celebrating. Look at that sign, it says, thank you, Pete. And I guess Santa's feeling better. Hmm, I like this sign over here, it says small is cool. Santa was dressed in his red coat and hat and cried hip hip hooray for our friend Pete the Cat. I did it, said Pete, and although I am small, in the spirit of Christmas, I gave it my all. Give it your all, give it your all, at Christmas we give, so give it your all. Aw, oh, and there's a little present for Pete too. The end. Oh, I love this story so much. It's so much fun. And Pete is so helpful, isn't he? He just stepped right up when Santa gave him a call and said, we need your help. Now that is the spirit of Christmas. It's all about giving your all and trying your best and sharing with others. And I also love the way the story is written. It's almost like a song, isn't it? There's some rhyming parts and there's some sing-songy parts. I'd love to know what was your favorite part. Did you like all of the illustrations too? They're fantastic. Let me know what you thought down in the comments section below. And if you have a favorite holiday story you'd like me to read, go ahead and share the title with me and I'll see if I can find it. Until next time, happy holidays and happy reading.